A person has been kidnapped and it's down to rabbit detective Kurt Tracker to find out who and why. This is Falcon City. Hello everyone and welcome to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point of click adventurer and in today's video we're going to be taking a close look at the new point of click game Falcon City from Likely Games. We play as Kurt Tracker, a rabbit detective based in Falcon City. We kick off the game by meeting all of our colleagues who are also all animals. We have Tanya, rabbit, Jenny, the squirrel, these guys who are animals. And throughout the game we will come across fish, falcons, camels and loads more. But let's rewind and take a look at the plot. So we play as Kurt Tracker who has just come across a case involving a kidnapping. Thanks to this cat dude here. I'm sorry, but I can't turn a blind eye to your shady affairs any longer. Just look into it, please. It turns out that wannabe singer Daisy has vanished without a trace, and it's up to us to find her. So that's all I'm going to say about the story without spoiling it, but let's delve into the actual gameplay. The mechanics of the game are pretty simple for a point and click adventure. You hover over something, and it only does one thing, either a look, a pick up, or a use. The puzzles at the start are fairly simple, it's the standard use this with that, and things will happen. And for a newbie point and click gamer, this is perfect. And as the game progresses, the puzzles do get harder, but don't worry because there is a hint option. The hint option here can be very generic, but in my eyes, that's a good thing. Who wants to go through a game with people telling you exactly what to do? What's the point? Some of the puzzles are almost mini games in themselves, one including locks, one including prime numbers, and one involving a safe. Overall, there was nothing that stumped me and there was definitely no moon logic here. A huge positive for the game is the replayability. I spent about two and a half hours to get to the end and I got an okay ending. I caught the bad guys but I didn't find Daisy. I went back over it again knowing kind of what I had to do for about another half an hour and this time I balls it up completely. Not only did I not find Daisy but I also didn't catch the bad guys. There are numerous ways to complete the puzzles such as if you don't have a key to enter a door maybe you can use something else to open it but all of these actions have their consequences. So if you don't get on with your teammates, they won't help you out at the end. The art style itself was quite fun, but there were a few things where I was pixel hunting. So there's a lot of pros for this game, but I must say there are a few cons as well. The biggest one for me is the voice acting. English isn't the first language of these voice actors as they are all based in Hungary, as it shows because the words spoken often don't line up with the words on screen. And not only that, but sometimes the lines are mumbled a little bit. With a few characters, there's no real conviction, it's just reading words. It doesn't pull up any trees, but the story itself kept me gripped, enough for me to go back and try again. As for the music, it calls itself a noir, but I can't really see anything noirish about it, except for the fact that it is a detective game. The music is quite bouncy and jaunty all the way through. Even the darker scenes have music which doesn't really seem to fit right. Overall though, I would recommend Falcon City for a fun, short game and I'll be keeping tabs on what likely games are up to next. If you like the look of the game, then you can purchase it on Steam from the link below. Thanks everybody for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please make sure that you click on subscribe, hit that like, and until next time, take care. Cliched ending of a cliched story.